Exercise 6. Art and Management has nine part-time employees, each of whom earns $175 per day. They're normally paid on Fridays for work completed Monday through Friday of the same week. They were paid in full on Friday, December 28, 2011. The next week, the nine employees worked only four days because New Year's Day was an unpaid holiday. Show the adjusting entry that would be recorded on Monday, December 31, 2011, and the journal entry that would be made to record payment of the employee's wages on Friday, January 4, 2012. On December 31st, we need to accrue the payable, increasing the liability, debiting an expense, and crediting a payable. The journal entry is a debit to wages expense for $1,575, 9 employees multiplied by $175 per day and a credit to wages payable for $1,575. This journal entry increases the amount of wages expense in 2011 by $1,575 and creates the balance in wages payable for our balance sheet. On January 4, 2012, the employees will receive a total of four days pay. Wages expense will be debited for three days pay. $1,575 per day multiplied by three days is $4,725. Wages payable will be debited for the one day that was accrued on December 31st. And the total credit to cash will be four days at $1,575 per day, $6,300. When we post this journal entry to the T accounts, the balance in wages payable is eliminated. The 2012 wages expense account has a beginning balance of zero. We add $4,725 to that balance giving a balance as of January 4th of 4725